Well, Scott Ellsworth, we're so happy to have you here and we look forward to talking to you on North Carolina Book Watch later. But uh, we're talking about basketball and about North Carolina's uh, preeminence now. Right. And, but you have a story that uh, North Carolina was ahead in basketball before we even knew it. Oh, it was. I mean, it's, um, so North Carolina in, in, is really where the modern game of basketball gets invented. It, it's not in New York City, it's not in Kansas, it's not in Indiana. It's where these rivalries, where this new fast place kind of play is created, where you have these new big arenas, uh, you know, certainly at North Carolina State, at, at Duke, and then later at, at, uh, uh, at UNC. But there's a North Carolina story that's never really been told. And part of it has to do with during the World War II years, during what we'd call the greatest generation years, there are a group of North Carolinians, white and black, who realize, who are looking toward a new integrated future, long before the Civil Rights Movement. The Secret Game describes events that happened three years before Jackie Robinson desegregates baseball. Everybody knows about that. But you had folks here, and I was just lucky as a writer to run into a group of people in their 80s and the 90s who could talk about segregation, could talk about basketball, could talk about what they were trying to do. But I think there's a story here that young North Carolinians need to, to learn about. Regular folks do too, but it's also something that we here can really be proud of. Well, I think a very important part of the story is about the desegregation aspect yeah. and the little step, but the, the, the hidden part, which I was uh, shocked about, is the revolution in how you played basketball yeah. that took, took uh, place on the North Carolina uh, uh, college campus. Yeah. And, Tell us what and, the revolution was. Well, and the revolution is is that you have the last student of James Naismith who had invented basketball, uh, and this last student's name was John McClendon, who was educated at the University of Kansas where he knew Naismith. He comes to North Carolina College in 1939, and he creates a new revved up, fast break oriented, defense oriented game that's, that's years ahead of everyone else. And this is where that game is invented. This is where he first tests it out, and he tests it out most importantly in this, uh, uh, you know, unlawful, dangerous, integrated game against so the, the team from Duke. Are you arguing that the fast break got created not on Duke or Carolina or State or on some right. of the other great basketball uh, powers in North Carolina, but it was so created the, in, 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 at North Carolina the, College? The, rev, the revved up fast break, uh, the first time you have a team with a super fast fast break, with full court pressure defense, with something we would now call the four corners, and with a modern conditioning program, and that's all a part of modern basketball. That first happens in Durham, North Carolina at what is now North Carolina Central University. That's where the game begins, the modern game begins. How did you get hold of this story? By complete luck. I was writing another book. I was writing a book about the 1957 Final Four, about race and basketball and television. And I got lucky, and uh, John McClendon introduced himself to me one day, and it went from there. This is the coach who right. brought that uh, right. fast break, uh, fast moving, con well conditioned right. game right. Uh, to North Carolina, and then throughout and the then world. to the world, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for telling thanks, us about DG. this book. Great and, to be here, and uh, look forward to talking to you on North right. Carolina Book Watch later on. Thanks a lot.